hi friends this is another question if you watch my first video in that i have shown how this printf work so first this print will be called and this printf will end up calling this is scanf okay because you need a data to print okay and data is supposed to come from this scanf so first this scanf will be called here okay so i'm going to count till five you pause the video and try to understand that one two three four five i think you would have come up with the answers let's go ahead and check that so this is two I hit enter at least compilation error is not there now hit and run this so now printf was called and printf end up calling this scanf and this scanf is waiting for me to give the input here so i will just give some input like this one okay this will go into p here now it is waiting for j input i will give j input as 10 hit enter it is giving you two output that means this c is the correct answer so what is happening here scanf returns how many parameters it got successfully so i give two parameters here rupesh and 10 okay or you can say two elements rupesh and 10 so that's why it returned two that i read it successfully two elements that's why it returned two and this printf end up printing two here like this okay remember this what i told in order to make sure that this thing is really working the way i am telling you i will just create another variable here so we are looking for three values now here okay so it should come three right p j and i so again we will compile this run this again i will say rupesh this time i will say my another name ethan this time i will give some value like 20 and 30 see this time it is giving you three that means it read it three elements successfully that's why it is returning three who is returning three scanf is returning three after reading all these three values okay and printf is printing just three which is coming from scanf like this okay so i think we all know how this whole thing is working so let's look at the next video now